The BearChain test app is now live, which is a free to use test net that you can interact with today and potentially earn a lucrative airdrop at some point in the future. Now to start, what actually is the bear chain according to their website you're going to see it right here it's a modular evm compatible l1 blockchain powered by proof of liquidity but that's a lot of buzzwords that probably don't mean much to you and there's a great explainer thread from a fellow youtuber here that'll tell you everything you need to know about what the bear chain actually is now in terms of the airdrop opportunity they do have a solid amount of funding last year they raised 42 million dollars and so people that interact with the testnet early and complete some of the quests that were released on Galaxy page will probably qualify for a nice little airdrop from BearChain. This right here is where the Galaxy page where they've just released some quests that are going to help onboard you to the testnet. I'm going to go over these real quick. But aside from this, there's like a whole bunch of different things that's going on here. It's going to help you to increase your on-chain transaction history and stand out from the people that only complete these simple quests on Galaxy. So the first quest well this one is an important one and that is just to visit the faucet and get some test net tokens they give you a little reminder here so to participate in this campaign you need to bind your evm address click and go now add your address for example evm you know you gotta make this one if you don't have it and that's gonna do the trick by the way i like this website you know it's only up it starts from right down there and just it goes up it goes up it goes up to all these characters until of course they land on the moon right now yeah, it's funny but where is the faucet here's the faucet here if you click on these dApps, click on the faucet and you can come back each eight hours to claim these tokens just like any other faucet that you ever seen in your life this one will add 0.25 tokens to your wallet address each time you drip it back to galaxy this is what you have to do you got to follow them on twitter you got to retweet the tweets if you click on more there is the discord server and as you can see you have the like the bear cub role and bear chain discord server it's hard to get this one by the way you can easily just head over to their discord server by just clicking on this icon on the main page you just click on it you know how it works just accept this invite you can see there's a lot of members inside bear chain is gonna be popular and actually i've went inside and i've seen that a lot of people are just asking how they can get this bear cup roll and i don't think that anyone was able to get it right it's still new so yeah you will come around to it now the next step is to add the network because you probably won't have it on your metamask or whatever wallet you're using so to do that just head over to your galaxy click on explore or you can just do it directly from the website click on dApps and choose any one of these networks also what do you have to do you have to mint honey all right that's one of the quests here as you can see mint honey and there's like a little intro quiz whatever i'll just reveal the answers to you for this one so the answers are c then d d then d again one more time and then it's gonna be a so that's little time saver for you submit that one as you can see it's correct you can always pause the video and just rewrite the answers now for those of you who are like new to airdrops well what is actually an airdrop it is essentially when you get rewarded for being an early user to a blockchain or an application built on a blockchain and that reward usually comes in the form of a token or cryptocurrency right that is airdropped to your crypto wallet so for example when optimism and arbitrum when they just released their airdrops they were rewarding people that interacted early on with their layer 2 ethereum blockchain but on the other hand more recently there was this one which is called gdo token and gdo team dropped gdo tokens to people that stake their solana with that particular application on the solana blockchain so that's an app airdrop sometimes the tokens you get rewarded with literally just show up or get airdropped into your wallet like the second round of the optimism airdrop but other times you have to manually go to a website just like barrett chain and you have to go and click on that faucet and do these quests until you are qualified for it so now that we know what an airdrop is 
how can we actually get them from anywhere else and not only from Barachain? Now you can see this little thread by Mr. Lumus on Twitter. Well, he listed a variety of different potential airdrops that you could get in 2024. Now, at this point, I'm just going to be honest with you. You can't go and complete each one of these. You can't get every single one of these from this list. It's just going to take a lot of time, a lot of money if you go with these investing things, and you just won't be able to farm them all. All right. So what I recommend for starters is dipping your feet in the water. Pick a couple of these and then just take the experience from it. See how it actually works and then just expand from there. For me personally, I'm most heavily focused on three ecosystems. Ethereum ecosystem, Solana and Cosmos. Ethereum ecosystem, including all of the layer twos. Then the one that we've already seen, Solana ecosystem, with a lot of up and coming airdrops for different applications. And then there's Cosmos ecosystem with many different app chains where you can be rewarded for just holding and staking tokens like Adam and Celestia. Now, once you've decided which ecosystems you want to focus on, the next step is to decide how much capital and how much time you're willing to invest in this because that's going to determine how many wallets you should be farming with and what type of airdrops you should be farming because even within the ethereum ecosystem for example there are free and test airdrops that you can farm and then there's others that require a significant amount of capital all right, so that's a significant amount sometimes. So you have to decide how much money you're willing to put towards airdrop farming and how much time you have. It's all the numbers game. All right, so let's now talk a little bit about the amount of money that you need per wallet to successfully farm airdrops. If we're talking about the Solana ecosystem, you can probably fund each new wallet with one to two hundred dollars and really accomplish quite a lot. The reason for this is transactions fees. Well, it's super low and it's not actually that expensive to use the network. If we're talking about the Ethereum ecosystem, though, it's a little bit more expensive to make transactions. And there's a lot of cases where if you have a lot more capital, you can do more with it. So if you have thousands of dollars to invest in airdrop farming, some of these are probably going to have really solid airdrops. And then there's also a lot of different applications that are going to reward people that deposit liquidity or that trade a high value amount on their different apps. So if you're starting out completely from scratch and you have a limited amount of money, I might recommend actually starting with Solana and just start doing these with cheap transactions. Next thing that you got to take care of is your time. If you have a lot of time, I recommend farming airdrops with multiple different wallets. But this leads me to a super, super important point. Make sure you don't send airdrops between the wallets. You just have to keep them completely separated. All right. They can't be linked together. Never do that. All right. Been there, done that. Now, regarding time, if you are really limited on time, but you still want to get some airdrops in 2024, a good approach would be to actually participate in the cosmos. All you have to do here is to hold some tokens and stake them, and then you can get some decent airdrops. So recently, Celestia stakers have been rewarded with four or five airdrops at this point. And this one doesn't actually require you to come back each eight hours like on Barrett Chain and push a bunch of transactions. All you have to do is to stake some, whichever one of these you want. Usually like a couple hundred usually is enough per wallet. And then just by staking it and holding it, you're good to go. Also, a really, really good piece of advice that I got before, follow all of these on Twitter. Follow people that know something about that on Twitter. Follow them anywhere else, LinkedIn. Read articles, follow the threats, explore, do the research, watch a lot of tutorials and just do it, but just don't try to do it all. You simply won't be able to, you know? It just takes a lot of time and consumes a lot of energy. You can get exhausted and probably you can just burn out real quick. So that's about it. I hope this made sense and it was actually helpful to you. I'll catch you in the next one.